Okay, Shalom Yisrael, the Shaikwa Ban Yisrael, I want to bring to you another short word, something I pray blesses your soul before I begin. I want to give thanks to the Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother, for giving me this opportunity to share with you, try to encourage you whatever way I can with my life, things I am learning. Now, I'm in Revelation 14 here, and it says, I want this part above all things to apply to me. In the end of it all, when all is said and done, this is what I want to hear in addition to well done, thou good and faithful servant. I want to be blessed. Blessed are the dead. So I know when I came to this truth and, I, you know, I made a lot of mistakes and I love the fact that the Heavenly Father put a great sword in my hand and all the learning I got about the power that we were being given over the oppressor nations so far as the knowledge of the law, statute and commandments and I started out beating people over the head with it because I was in love with being able to confound people and take advantage of their lack of wisdom and understanding, overstanding. But as I grew older, I began to turn from that. And I, I began to seek out what Messiah says in Gospel of Thomas to know myself. I wanted to examine myself, knowing that I am accountable knowing that I will give an account of myself. And so I begin to turn my mind to, and I still do to this day, I try to focus on things that are important that will follow me into my, when I am taken from this reality, I want whatever's going to speak for me to give a good witness. Now, I'm just sharing some scriptures real quick here that really help me to focus on daily sanctification, really. Here's one in 1 Corinthians, things that are everlasting. We've all, we all have heard this, charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Okay, we all know that. But these are, it's saying that these are, are things that, there are things that we know now that we're not gonna know in the time of our restoration. But it's telling you at the same time what is going to work for you. Charity never faileth, never faileth. Meaning, things that you try to minister to other brethren to the blessing of them. When I see Messiah, you, can, you can't get away from the fact that he was always doing, saying things that helped people that benefited his nation, benefited us. And now abide in faith, hope, and charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. So when you're figuring out a way to minister to your brother and to give, and you're more apt to give than to receive, you want that witness and knowing that it will be a part of your blessing when we are called to give an account for ourselves. And then... In Sirach, I saw an interesting verse here I came across. It talked about brethren who are wise, they teach many, but they are unprofitable to himself. Now, why does it say that? There is one that sheweth wisdom and words, and he is hated, and he shall be destitute of all food. For grace is not given him from the Lord, because he is deprived of all wisdom. Why is, why is it saying that? What does it mean by that? And I deduced, the Spirit gave to me to say that, when you lack humility, when you lack sincerity, when you are doing things really for your own knowledge, for your own glory, the Heavenly Father, He knows it. And it will not profit you. And even in this reality, people, they pick up on that. And instead of blessing them, they turn against you. They begin to hate you because they perceive that you're glorifying yourself. So anyway... What you do in sincerity and truth and humility and the fruits of the Spirit, those are things that are eternal. So anyway, I hope that this blesses you. I pray the Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother, give you understanding in what I'm saying. And until I make another video, may peace be upon you. Shalom.